Hi and welcome back. Uh, if I'm looking a little bit strange, a little sort of washed out, because I don't have all my makeup on. And the reason is because so many of you have seen my recent videos and said, that's a really pretty fresh makeup. It's a new look for you. Will you show us how to do it? So it's a kind of real women, real makeup, real time, but just on this mug. Um, and why should I ask anybody to do what I wouldn't do? The reason I've done my makeup, uh, my base and my concealer, and I'll talk through what I've done is because I want to do this in real time. And I want to show you how quick and easy it is to do my lazy, keep your summer glow going through to the autumn makeup. Um, so let's start with the fact that I've just applied my It Cosmetics CC cream with the brush. I'm a medium tan, so many people ask me that, and I get sent a lot of medium, so Joe Jones, they're coming your way. Uh, and then my new discovery of the summer was the number seven Hydra Luminous Under Eye Concealer. So I've got my brush, um, it Cosmetics CC cream on all over and then the Hydra Luminous which is a sponge applicator I, I mean these look a mess let's keep it real I don't apply it with the sponge I put it onto the back of my hand and I use that end of the brush and I literally go in where the dark just where the dark shadows are which is just there and there and they're caused by the puffiness here and here deep joy puffiness and wrinkles anyway and then I go back in and I blend out any fine lines um, somebody sent me a picture of themselves the other day. I get so many questions on Instagram. Go look at my crepey eyes and I had to make this picture so big and I went, really? Do you really want to know what crepey eyes look like? It's these. Anyway, um, I did this foundation about two minutes ago by the time I set up my lights. Guess what? My nose has started running so I've actually gone red around the nose already. So I'm just going to go back in with a little bit of extra concealer on my nose and buff it all in just to show you how easy and, I mean, I know it's not designed for redness around the nose, that concealer, but it seems to work quite well. Basically just bounces back light, reflects light. Um, I mean, it will sit in lines if it's like mine, but I think it buffs out quite easily. I really do. Anyway, so that's my base and it takes about two seconds to do. It's, it's so easy to do. I blend it all out. I put it right around my eyebrows, up into my hairline, down to my neck and chest. It's got the all important SPF 50 in it, which is why I love it. Anyway, then when I was rethinking my summer makeup, I was thinking, oh, I'm on holiday. I went to uh, Austria, Chicago, Santorini, three totally different weather patterns. One was spring-like up in the mountains in Austria and on a lake, one was humid, hot, New York, Chicago, high rise, American city kind of holiday. And the other one was boiling hot and windy Santorini. And I just, I just didn't want my normal heavy makeup. And I've been sent a whole host of NARS. So a lot of this is NARS. I forgive me for that. They just do the best summer colors. They really do. I already included their little travel palettes anyway. So I also watched a Sam Chapman. Hello, Sam Chapman, you gorgeous creature, where she took a really simple, easy brown color sort of terracotta colour and smudged it around her eye and I just I did my rubbish version of that and I'll show you the colours I used so the next step for me would always be blusher and I ran out of my orgasm bumpy ride and so I just got hold of the NARS orgasm summer palette um, orgasm is just slightly more shimmery and peachy than the NARS bumpy ride but it's a easy colour to wear it really does suit most people and I've got the hourglass double-ended brush here so I just dust it in and then I put it just directly onto cheekbones um, and then up into the hairline slightly that's such a 90s trick it really is and actually from this distance it looks quite just peachy and then every so often you see yourself in daylight and you think oh I could have been shimmer on there it's it's got quite a lot of shimmer in it a little bit more I mean, this is how quickly I do my makeup. Um, so this is the beginning of my ode to the whole NARS summer look because it is absolutely beautiful. So that's the NARS Orgasm palette just on my cheeks. That size, I mean, I'll be using that for summers to come. It's such a great color. And then the next thing I got sent from NARS was I actually got sent a bronzer and a blusher palette. It was part of their mini travel duos. This is a orgasm and laguna and what's interesting about this is so i can then use this as a blusher on the go around and about but it was after watching the sam chapman uh, tutorial on instagram that i suddenly thought 
And I, do you know, I'd spoken to people before, a lot of really good makeup artists use bronzer just to define the eye, actually under the lashes and in the crease. And it doesn't really look like you've got eyeshadow on, it just gives you definition. And especially if you've got this, like hooded eyes, I mean, I'd like to say it's old lady hooded eyes. It is in my case. Some people just have hooded eyes. It works so well, okay? Um, so I really am minimum effort, maximum fuss at most times, but especially when I'm on holiday. Anyway, so then I've got a brush here, which I, it's a crown brush. And I have a sneaking suspicion, seeing as I've never bought a crown brush in my life. It's CS11. that I accidentally stole this from Lisa Potter Dixon. Sorry, Lisa Potter Dixon. Anyway, into the Laguna bronzer. And then essentially what you do is you do the classic Charlotte Tilbury sweeping motion back and forth over your eyes. And this crown brush is beautiful and soft and it's the perfect shape to go in and out of your crease. And do you see what it does there? It literally defines the eye. Um, and it sort of looks like you haven't got any eyeshadow on, but you have got eyeshadow on. And because it is the bronzer and it's been teamed with the blusher, you know the colors automatically match. It's very clever. Anyway, other eye. The classic windscreen motion back and forth, back and forth, back and forth into the eye. A little bit more intensity on the outer corners. And that's all the shadow I've been wearing all summer. I kind of love it really. Um, and then what I do is I take my, uh, this has already got some of yesterday's liner on it. I take my NARS smudging brush and I dip it into the Laguna and I just go under the eye. And this is what I learned from uh, Sam. So you just go under the eye slightly into the base of the lashes. And you don't really get a color. What you get is a shadow that makes you look like you've got more lashes. It's super subtle, this look, it really is. So in the base of the lashes, right in the base of the lash line. Again, no color really, just a, a shadow that gives you a sense of a lower lash line. Um, it's really quite clever. Trust me, I can take absolutely no credit for it. Then over the summer, I've been using one of two MAC eyeliners and I've been using them as eyeliner and as water liner as well. One is Costa Riche and the other is Coffee. Coffee's the one I've been using most often. You've seen me tight line before. Look away now if you don't like seeing people pull their eyes around and make a complete mess of everything. But this is the coffee, right? And then what I do is I basically go in the base of my lashes, almost not looking and just following my lash line. And then back and forth, back and forth. I mean, these um, MAC eyeliners are beautifully soft. They feel a little bit like the Charlotte Tilbury ones, but they, I promise you, they don't smudge nearly as much. Now, so many people ask me the question, how do you not smudge it onto your lower inner waterline? I do. Doesn't bother me. It really doesn't bother me. I quite like that. I've said this before, the sort of smudgy Kate Moss look. All right, let's do the other eye. Last time I did this, somebody said to me, if you look this way and do this, you know you will be able to do this with look, by looking, but hey, it's worked for me for 57 years. Actually, probably not 57 years. Do you know, I was at a party last night, which is why I'm probably looking a little bit the worse for wear, um, with Sally Hughes and lovely Hannah Martin was there. Hannah Martin taught me how to do this. Um, and again, you see, there you go, it smudges on the bottom line. It's not perfect, and that's because I never worry about it being perfect, because I'm going to go in with my beloved Bobbi Brown Black Plum Eyeshadow, which is a matte, purpley, brown eyeshadow. Look how much I've used it. Uh, and then I just use the same NARS smudging brush, and then I go back over the top. And that sort of softens everything and makes everything look a little bit more blended and subtle. Do you know what? I was, I was I must have been feeling confident the other day. I attempted liquid liner. What a disaster. And then a little bit of that just on that outer edge on the outside just to connect the top and bottom a spot coming up in my hairline I've just put two percent salicylic acid on it um so now it's looking a little bit sort of 
disgusting. I put it under my makeup and then over my makeup. Um, keeping it real as usual. So that's my eyes in terms of shadow and liner, pretty much finished. Over the summer, I've been using Benefit Bad Girl Bang and it's pretty much run out, uh, which is heartbreaking. So um, I'm back on my Ixmetic Superhero. Do you know, I've tried a lot of mascaras this year. Uh, I tried the Pat McGrath one. I tried the new Laura Mercier one. I just don't understand why you should have to put like four or five coats on when you can just get one or two amazing coats and you're out. And I do like a heavy mascara look. So this is It Cosmetics Superhero in action. And I'll show you how good it is. I mean, really? 10 seconds. I was using the Pat McGrath one and I was like, how many coats of this stuff have I got to put on before you can actually see it on the lashes? Um, outer lashes um this one actually is slightly more it's as stripper effect but it's slightly more clumpy than um bad gal bang bad gal bang is my all-time favorite mascara now and the reason is is because you can just keep applying it and it never clogs up it's a rubberized brush whereas this is a much more traditional fur brush um now this is brand new, so this mascara will automatically be slightly more than normal. Um, and then I just go back in and I do a second coat on the top, trying to remember to go right to the outer corners because I've got small, deeply set eyes. Eyes virtually finished. The other thing I've fallen in love with this summer is the Max Factor. I've talked about these before when I did What's New um, and Budget high street makeup and this is the brow revival um, and the reason I like it is because a it's mini so it's easy to travel with and b it's quite a small spoolie now this has fibers in it so unless you're prepared to go in and take them off and they do set pretty hard uh, just dab the end of the brush on a piece of kitchen roll um, and let me show you how this works so basically it gives you a little bit of volume and definition and color i do the back brushing through the ends where my microblading has never really taken and i quite like an up look and that's the difference between my brows it is really good now max factor were really late to the brow mascara brow tinted market as i said in my um video however they have thought it through very carefully and it's worth it's been worth waiting for it's a great little product it's got a similar spoolie slightly larger than the charlotte tilbury one slightly smaller than the Too faced one but i do like it and that is a soft brown however a lot of time this summer i've also been using the dark brown i'm actually just going to put a little bit of extra color through that bit there so they match and give it a bit of an uplift mini facelift and there you go that's my eyes done, that's my cheeks done. Uh, and then I've been finishing with the NARS Orgasm lipstick. And it's a really lovely product. You haven't got to worry about it. It's like a cross between a color and a balm. It suits everybody. You haven't got to reapply it, no liner le needed, you know, all that sort of stuff. And let me show you it on. Really pretty color sort of intensifies your own lips and that genuinely is what I've been wearing all summer it's a slightly warmer toned but softer and lighter look than I would normally wear and so many of you said you liked it that I thought I'd show you how it works it's really easy takes no time at all everything at the moment is then also in my all-time favorite makeup bag I got sent this all the way from Australia from my friend Michelle lab muffin look at this see that it says full of chemicals because <laughs> everything is a chemical no such thing as chemical free so let's see everything goes in there that concealer brush mascara so clever because I now don't need to put my bronzer um, and my blusher in because that's I'm using that as an uh, that as a blusher and that as a um, that as a blusher and that as an eyeshadow the lipstick, 
the br defining brush, the coffee eyeliner, the uh, brow. Now, I probably wouldn't reapply my eyeshadow, but there's the brush in. And then the line, the uh, Bobbi Brown liner, black plum liner, and then finally, for on the go, if I needed mattifying, and we've had a really hot summer, obviously I've been using Beauty Pipe One. One Powder Wonder. I had to think, is it One Wonder Powder? But it's not, it's One Powder Wonder. And do you know what so many people have said to me? Oh my God, it's incredible. I've been able to layer it up, put it over my face, cut back on shining, it never looks cakey. So that goes in there, and there you go. <laughs> New makeup bag, perfectly sized, fits everything in. Uh, I love that it's the full of chemicals thing. Uh, just basically taking down people that say that products are chemical free, water is a chemical, air is a chemical. Uh, I am made of chemicals and so is my makeup. That is my uh, end of summer, early autumn. Let's just take this glow, this orgasm glow, not sponsored by NARS, but a lot of NARS, uh, through to September, October, November. Uh, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing. I should put all the details of all the products down below. If some of the products I've used have been limited edition, I will just sweep through to the main site and show you where you, because they're all classic colors, where they're still available. Uh, any questions? let me know i'll answer them here or on instagram at nadine baggett follow me on instagram at nadine baggett because then i think it's interesting if i always post a picture on instagram to support my youtube videos if you ask the questions then then instead of sliding into dms everybody can benefit from the answers if that makes sense i hope it does thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and i'll see you soon